Hello everyone, Jamie here. So before we get started, I must warn, doing these steps will reset all the app permissions for every single app. So for each app, you'll have to go in and enable the permissions again. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is go to the settings. Next, we're gonna click on About Phone and then you're going to tap on MIUI version seven times so that we can enable developer options. Then go back a screen and then go down to additional settings. Then scroll down to developer options. Scroll down all the way till you get to the bottom until you get to turn on MIUI optimization. However, if yours is like mine and it's not there, we need to tap on reset to default values three or four times for it to appear. Next, you need to turn off MIUI optimization, and then you're going to get a little pop up. Uh, just click on accept when it allows you to do so. It's going to just count down. Yep, click on accept, and then go back to your home screen. Like I said earlier, all the app permissions have now been reset. So the first app that we're going to re enable the permissions for is a Galaxy wearable app. An easy way of doing this is holding your finger down on the app and going to App Info, and then click on permissions and then click on each permission and then click on allow and then go back a screen and then click on battery and performance and then make sure that it's unrestricted okay and then go back to the first page of the settings go to apps and then go to manage apps and then search for galaxy fit and you'll find the correct plugin for uh, whatever smartwatch you've got. Um, and like before, we're going to go to app permissions and just make sure that they're all been uh, enabled. Okay, and then we're going to go back to the first screen of the settings and we're going to go down to battery. Okay, we're going to slide it from balance to performance so that nothing is being restricted in the background and so that your watch will not be uh, getting disconnected anymore. And lastly, we're just going to go back to the Galaxy wearable app and click on connect so that it can reconnect your smartwatch and there we go hopefully you won't have any more issues with it disconnecting now okay so if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you hated it subscribe okay thanks very much everyone bye